partly just you know like the honeymoon thing. I like I I just want to see them explode, but they're playing against Cyber and that is that's never a good sign. Always bad things can happen. I mean this this so what did you go for? Is, I went for complexity. You ever, I thought you were just going for the reverse mating. No, no. I I know, but you know, it only worked halfway last night and I figured you know what, you know. It only I, worked halfway. Yeah. Listen, it was still better than the no, like the, the not working at all. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic in some ways, isn't it? Well, here we are. Into it. Complexity on the T side, Vitality on the CT side. We do have some smokes and an HE. No diffuse kit at all on the Vitality side. And already, Cyborg's heard some people footsteps down there. And Ooh, he's going to get a shot at the back. That was Blameth. Perfect timing. Masuta, he needed a lot of headshot shots. They're not even helping each other out. He's waiting for it, and he doesn't get the headshot. That's going to take way too long. He needs to get that instantly and try and follow it up. Apex comes in, and they're just all going to be fighting one at a time. No one could help each other out. That was just all individual vitality members dying all across the map. Just very strange. Even Masuta and Shox were like near each other, but unable to help. Man, well, yeah. welcome to the show. Yeah, welcome to the show. Talk about nonstop action. But this really does, to me, that speaks to blame F style, especially Nuke. He really likes this map, and he's always got, he, he, he is the guy who devours demos. And so him going all the way up the silo like that alone, just doing his thing out in yard, just ready and waiting for Zywu to go by, it just speaks to preparation. Like, that guy's always prepared. You can't pull a fast one on him. And I think that's what uh, Team Vitality are going to be fighting against for the majority of this map. It's just, or this series. It's just it's going to be this uphill battle of uh, is Blameth in our head or not. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's quite the responsibility to take upon your own shoulders to do that. It's super hard work. It's very often lonely work to be doing that. You're not going to find, you know, like five other teammates or four other teammates and a coach or whatever who all love doing that. It's going to be you and maybe like one or two other people. And one of them is definitely going to be, you know, whatever coach you have. And and then if you're lucky, there's going to be another person on the team who's, who's also passionate about it. Yeah. But likely you'll be you'll be doing that on your own. And that's that's super hard to do. But I don't I think nothing beats it. If you can do that, if you can keep that focus, I mean... Yeah, you're going to need some good players on your team, but they have that. Uh, but I, I think it goes such a long way. The other thing that I'm wondering about with this Vitality thing, the Misuda, well, no, the, um, oh, come on, how am I blanking on his name? It's just Scream's cousin. With Scream's cousin joining the roster, to me that, you know, we saw how Astralis tried to play it off. And so it always, it feels like there's going to be some doubt in the roster now. A little bit, you know, moments hesitation perhaps in terms of like who's going to get benched, who's going to have to sit, who's going to, who's got to worry about oh, yeah, you're right. their back. That's an interesting right? point. Instead think about of it that. being a rock solid five man roster, like this is the team, this is us. Now you're what well, you're introducing a sixth man into it. What do, do the coaches not trust you anymore? Are you not are you, are you not pulling your weight anymore? Are you not as good as you should be? Well, I mean, it, oh, uh, hold hey. on, Suter actually getting a kill here. I'll, I'm going to follow up on that. I think that's just a lot of interesting thoughts to, to be to be had around that uh, particular topic. Cyber went down. He was also mulling into Molotov early. <laughs> I don't know. Grenade headshot, just all of it at the same time. It all works. So yeah, I think any chance for a retake now is definitely uh, it's it's come and gone at this point. But just to follow up on that thought, right? Like, I think there is, in, in a perfect world, a, a six-man roster sort of means that everyone who's currently active in Lyman Up are going to be super motivated to keep being good. Like, you never want to sort of fall back. Like, that's, that's the idea, right? That's the theory, right? Yeah. Now, in actuality, I think there's a huge chance that what you're describing will happen instead, which is that it just breeds insecurity and and distrust, and people, you know, start having arguments about meaningless things because they, you know, like... Sure. Also, where's Valve in this? Valve are the ones who put their foot down that long ago and said five-man roster. That's it. Yeah. So I guess Valve don't have a. They've changed their opinion. They've just they've evolved. They've gone with the times, or do they just not care enough to say? Because I haven't heard anything about this. Uh, their their take on six-man rosters. I haven't heard anything any a peep about this. Have you? No, I haven't. Yeah. Um, so I mean, you know, where's where's Valve all of a sudden? Yeah, the, lots of good questions. I mean, it'll be certainly be an interesting development. I, I feel like we have so little data on it that we just don't even know, right? Like it's it's you know one or two teams trying it, or maybe trying it halfway, or maybe just pretending to try it, whatever the case may be. Pretending to try it. Yeah, it's, I, think uh, that's the, I think that's the main thing. <laughs> but like either one of those is not going to be good enough. Like what whatever is actually going on, you know, we need to we need to see it repeated multiple times, either working or not working, to have a real sense, I think, of of whether or not it actually is a good idea. But um, I don't know, Vitality put up a fight in that last round, and they still have a Galil that they stole, they have that MP9 on shocks. So, I mean, it's not all bad here, and it's really early days, so. Complexity, though, probably happy to just get, you know, a little bit of a start here. Also interesting, obviously, to see how JKS does. Does it take a t some time to fit into a team? I mean, or maybe he's just going to be flying straight in there? We just don't know yet. I think if Blame F is bringing him on board, um... 
well, there's blame. I've taken shocks out of it, but this is again eco round here from Vitality. Yeah. Full buy pretty much from complexity, so we should expect complexity to just maul vitality. Uh, I think if Blamef takes on a player, like he really does seem to me like the kind of leader who will say, I want this guy, and I know I already know exactly how he's going to fit into the system. Yeah. Because you know? he's going to have analyzed JKS's play style. He's going to know exactly how JKS likes to play, and he's going to be like, sweet, this guy's perfect. You can put him in here, here, and here, and it'll all work out, right? That's the feeling I get. Now, if that's reality or not. Obviously, you know, we're all speculating here because we're not exactly involved in the coaching process of complexity. But, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I agree, and I, you know, but if you bring in the larger complexity organization into the conversation, well, then Blame If is going to have even more backup because, yeah, Lake does Mr. not mess around. Yeah, Mr. Lake and his team. I mean, um, I actually, I actually calling went him to Mr. Lake. Mr. Lake. Um, Jason, he's a he's a friend of mine. He's great. I love him. But um, I just call him Lake. Yeah, Lake. Well, but basically, like you know, uh, I actually went to like their training facility in uh, over in Texas. And, in Dallas. Uh, yeah. You were there. Yeah. It's it's really it's quite something. Um, it's really quite something. Uh, so yeah, I that that converted me really quickly to uh, to a believer in in at least the overall project. You know, could have its own ups and downs for any number of reasons, but. Um, yeah, not for lack of resources at the very least. Um, here we go. Rifle's been picked up now by Vitality again. They got the 4 and 4s They got the AWP. Um, they have almost everything they need. The head armor that they're lacking, don't really care. It's all the AKs and AWP on the other side. They're lacking a couple of grenades, but this should be the first big test for really either team to see how this is going to shape up on Nuke on the first half at least. And it's slow for complexity. Yeah, I think they're just going to suss it out. Again, blame F does his homework but this is complexity's map pick they're going to have a game plan going into it the first big buy round you know you're probably going to have something in mind as to what you want to do uh, now we're going to get a bit of a push for information here from vitality and this is going to this should give them quite a bit of info yep to work with look at this shocks he's already going to make it up to the rooftop and oh. surprise surprise jks just got shot in the face he is gone does that trick uh, he got his nade off first though so no no gap in the nade wall. This is something complexity can take advantage of, except the Zaiwu, of course. Doesn't care about your smoke grenade at all, JKS. That's the one that he threw from out there. Oh man. The Shox has been playing this game such a long time, but he can still he can still catch the uh the, the new wave off guard. That was fantastic. What a move. And Zaiwu, of course with the AWP, and it'll always uh always uh strike some fear in your spine whenever you hear that ringing out across from the map. Rush with a beautiful headshot to take down Masuta, though, and somehow it's a three on three. So Complexity lose a bunch of people even trying to get to this bomb site, but once they're there, they equalize it, and now it's a three on three. They got the bomb down, and almost no one has any grenades left at all. Rush really, really close. This could get interesting. Oh, man. Where's that flash? That was it. He has to just go for a try, but Blame Up is going to take Zewa down. And this is now Poison, the Jiggle Peak from RPK. Again, just so much experience on RPK side. He's not going to be one to make a mistake. But Blamef is going to be in a position where he could stop this. Yep, sure enough. Fantastic setup now. This is going to be so hard for Shoxy to clutch. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, all right, so one thing to note, right, Anders? Uh, it's kind of like playing simple. It's, uh, it's just that he can only be at one place on the map at one time. You know, right? At a time. True. So... You figure out where he's playing from, and you can maneuver around Zaiwu, Ziwu, however we want to say it. How do you say it? You say Zaiwu, right? I say Zaiwu. Zaiwu just I... comes naturally because you see the Z-Y, and we're not all French. I mean, I'm half French, but I mean, I still would rather say it. Zaiwu. Listen, I, I have no problem with saying it. People can say however they want. I just, it's whatever, it just sounds more natural to me. But listen, if, if, the, if the community consensus changes to Ziwu, I'll, I'll just follow along. I have no strong feelings about it. Try and remain calm these days. I'm uh, don't you let do, you're very let, zen. Yeah, don't let well, you're like a bear in meditation. I can keep the mask on as long as the broadcast is live. So, uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, <laughs> later on, you know, you never know. Um, got some deagles, got the C set 75 and an MP9 on shocks as well. Uh, does go down, and JKS will follow up with a kill. I maybe we could maybe I, I want to say this while you know while we're waiting here. I'm assuming Vitality aren't going to do too much, yeah, but um. I was a pretty big fan of the 100 Thieves lineup with, with you know, the, the sort of the original core of, uh, of Australians and all the rest of it. Sure. Um, I thought it was really cool. But one thing I think they really never managed to do was really show just what a, what a player JKS can be consistently. Like, they had, he had games where it was really great, but I just don't think we've seen, like, the, the real full version of, uh, of JKS. So that is something that I'm kind of, uh, that's, that's the secret thing that I'm looking forward to in this lineup. I'm just wondering if they're one of those teams that just got screwed by the Rona. 
in the sense that uh, when the Rona struck, they had just not played online at all, right? Oh, yeah. You know? And then they, some teams just, it's, uh, they, they just don't have that same element, that same pizzazz. Uh, as they do on land, and so when the Rona hit, all of a sudden they have to only play online, and you're, and then it just turns into this long grind, and maybe you're just one of those teams where you're just not going to hit that level that you're supposed to, or that you know that you're capable of on land. Yeah. And and you get stunted and frustrated, and it just kind of falls apart, right? It could very well be. I mean, yeah, it's it's just very hard to uh, it's very hard to say. Uh, I, you know, just because we've been showering praise on Clayste for a good first 10 minutes of this matchup. Uh, definitely don't want to be overlooking Vitality. I actually, I actually, I spent a fair bit of time because I wanted to make some some content and, and the stuff that I happened to pick up was just Vitality demos by random chance. Okay. Um, so I ended up watching a bunch of those. And it's, I really can't think of a reason why, why Vitality couldn't be the best team in the world. I just, I cannot think of it. Like, I, I can. I, uh, yeah. I love Vitality. To, yeah, Vitality. It's the, it's the, it's the French curse, dude. French. <laughs> dude, I swear. That's so if, they, if they get close to it, Anders, I promise you, if they get close to it, they will find a way to self-destruct. That's just how the French function as a culture, a society. It's just, that's just the way it goes. They'll kick someone and bring yeah. in Smiths immediately. Dude, why do you think NBK got out? He's just like, I'm done with this. I'm going to move on. We're going to do a mixed team, and uh, you know, we'll go ahead and make it work over there. Okay, but listen, if they weren't French, I think they could be the best in the world. That's what I'm saying. I just, I, I look at everything that's going on here, and I, okay. I really think they're a, a, a very cool team to watch at the moment. So, oh, uh, dude, don't get me wrong. They're great to watch. Super yeah. fun. I mean, Zai was a total monster, and don't get me wrong. I'm always going to love me some Shoxie. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think that it's the fact that I, I just, I'm so in love still with the story of RPK and, and his career comeback from, from, you know, the best in the world in Source and then you know, back to CSGO and all the rest of it. And they picked up a suitor, I think, was an, an incredible pickup as a young star. So I just, I love, I love all of this, but we'll see how it all plays out. Speak of the devil, it's two big kills from Misutra and RPK inside with a follow it up. And it's actually RPK to get that kill, but it could have just as well been Misutra. So they finally pick up a round Vitality. It's the sixth round and it's the first one that they have, but it's definitely better than nothing. So now they just need to it up, follow it up, and keep going in this direction. That's very nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you mentioned Masuda. He feel, I feel like he's got to get a lot of attention just because kind of like Sweden in a sense where there were so many French teams, they were so competitive, they were so good, and then, but where was the next generation? Yeah, that's right. Where, where were the where were the, uh, the next stars coming up behind the Shoxies, right? So, I mean, you guys, I will obviously, but... Uh, you know, it's, it feels like it's been a slow process to get French players up when there have been a considerable amount, considerable amount of French players at the top of CSGO for a, while, a long time now. Definitely right. So great to see Masuda in, the, in action here. Two of the uh, new ones on this team. He's going to go for the swing. He was already low on health from an earlier grenade, so hard for him to win that fight. There were a lot of people behind. I don't know if he would have been able to do Jack It's oh. missing the timing. Oh, it's, it's hard to watch. Yeah, I hate Masuda. to see it. Yeah, but he's still in a bit of a weird position in Masuda. This can go bad really quickly. I think, yeah, this is a much better call. Staying in those vents could be dangerous. Do they wrap back up through main right now? I mean, it's a question of, yeah, exactly. Where's Zao? Config figures it out. Don't line up whatever you do. Don't line up whatever you do. And that is just not going to happen, unfortunately for you, Poison. He's got the advantage of the angle on you there. Apex will follow it up. It looked like they were ready to sacrifice one of them and have the other one kill him. They just said, you know, someone's going to die here, but uh, but at least we can make up for it. Two on two sure. is, is going to be fine for Complexity if they could find this kill, and it they will. JKS taken down. RPK. Don't know if it would have... I mean, he has to stay and look every once in a while. He can't just stay in the corner and hide. That's, that's not going to make much sense. So now Apex is in a tough position. Do you think... Do you... What do you think of... Uh... So when I think complexity now with the, with JKS's addition to it, I just feel like they have superior firepower. I mean, you can have oh. Zaiwu, and how many Zaiwus? You know, how much? How many oh. other players are worth a Zaiwu? But like Config, Poison, JKS, I, you know, it's like those guys smack, and then Blame F as he's a fragging in-game leader. We are gonna need. To you know what I mean? We're gonna need to. I think to try and even pretend to calculate that, we're gonna have to delve into some really hard like probability math, and I just I have never enjoyed that. So I'll. Okay. Stay with what do you think about it? Like, yeah, I, you know, just I, I'm, I test, just kind of like throwing it out there right now. Yeah. That's just like gut feeling right now going into this match where it's just like if I were to sit and look at these two rosters, I mean, I don't know. If JKS gets comfortable on this team, he's a he's a hard fragger. He can he can take people's heads off. He's a, he's super amazing and yeah. 
config alone can yeah. take over games. Like, but that's why I'm saying probability because like and then what? poison. Yeah, it's no have, joke. They have so much going on. I I don't know. I actually I am I. Wait, I missed man. it in the fan cams. Was Lake watching? He usually, sure he usually tunes in. Must be. I. I struggle to come. I, even at an eye test, I actually struggle. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of people tweeting at me saying, boo. <laughs> you got to, yeah, sure. I really don't know. I really don't know. That's, a, that's actually kind of an interesting question. Someone smarter than me will have to break that down because I, I just don't feel like I really know. Six to one, complexity allow for a single round in favor of Vitality before they go back to winning rounds themselves on the T side of Nuke. This is a very good start. They don't have that much money. That's the only thing that is, you know, not making this a nightmare right now for Vitality. If they all had like, you know, five or six thousand, this would be a huge, huge problem right now for the Vitality team. So see how it plays out. Nice shot from Shocks, taking down Poison and Blame if also getting tagged up in the mix somewhere. Vitality just need to be thanking Big Daddy Gaben because uh, of that new ecosystem. Because without that, they're back to 1,400, and they are just super-duper screwed at the beginning of this half. Uh, instead, now they've got a chance to actually fight back. They have rifles, nades, two ops. Like, pff, ridiculous. So, new CS go, baby. Wait, what? How did he get both those kills? He even gets config. I actually thought they were getting completely timed. It looked like nobody from Vitality was even looking at that squeak door, and they just completely handled it up. I'd love to see that replay from his point of view, because that was um, that happened so quickly. I swear they were all looking away, because they were falling off the hut and looked like they were sort of relocating inside of the bomb site. So I was really confused about that. That happened so, so quickly. Yeah, look, he's, he's not even looking. He's actually looking for the, for the exit from hut the other way, and he just gets every single one. That is... Magnificent. That's twice now that they've really screwed that uh, that whole play from Squeak to upper sight complexity. So maybe maybe just kind of avoid that for now. I don't know. Maybe that's going to be their intention after this round. For now, it's looking like it's going to be an explosive play out through ramp. Shocks going to get that smoke down, create a little bit of room here, and while well, Apex just going to be doing his thing. Here comes the push. Caught with an aid in his hand. Does a 360 and dies. I man. Someone's gonna have to to find a way to punish Apex for that. I mean, on the team, like I don't know, find him or I don't know, tattoo his eyebrows or something. Like, it's gotta be. Make sure he never forgets. Like, I'll never want to see ever anyone running out of ramp that fashion, fashion ever again, especially in a round where it was mostly have pistols. Looks like it's not gonna be worse than that. It looks like they've they've managed to control it. Oh, but that. I bet the shot shocks against his eyebrows threaded though, right? Is that like, thing? When you get the, like, because they're so clean. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, how do you get those laser, it looks like they're laser cut. Let's see. Can we bring Shoxy up? This is a form of technology that I just, I didn't even know existed. It's a thread. Okay. Like, I would they, know They why. use, like, a, th a string, I think. Or ah. I don't know. For one day, whatever, okay. whatever reason, someday on YouTube, it just say. popped up in my feed, and I was like, oh, okay. Whatever you say, something. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want anyone with lasers near my eyes at all, if, to be honest. So there's a lasering program. Let's send me out of that. Jason did it. My wife did it. I'm, now I'm over here thinking, like, should I? Has, is, has it progressed enough? The technology progressed enough where uh, <laughs> I'm willing to let somebody fry my eyes with lasers so that I can see better? We just have to make it, <laughs> we just have to make it cool enough for men to be involved. Like, it's got to be lasers and, and, like, fire or something. Exactly. And, yeah. You know, if a bald eagle lands on the back of the seat while, you know, they're, they're doing while it, it maybe, maybe then. All right. There's a future here for sure. It can't be Moses in a bald eagle suit, though. I'm just saying. It can't be that. Although, now that you say it, that does sound like an interesting concept, so... No, you would just take a massive dump on my head and fly away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Full execute coming in, buddy. Yeah, Shocks, though. Sneaking in. They've been waiting for this. Blame F gonna get the kill on Shocks. I think there was a flashbang involved in that, but didn't even go off in time. He just he was quick about it. I still like that from Shocks. I mean, it, it seems silly now that it's it's gone wrong, but I still think, again... Taking some of the initiative there on the CT side is just all very cool. Masuta going to get the one kill there. The spray not connecting. And now down on the low ground. They're going to take everyone down. Look at how they're handling all of that. Rush is looking for the low ground. Config is already spotting the high ground. Is so effective. And Apex, he was never going to win that round. Not actually. Oh, they had money. I guess he could have gone for it. They can still buy. So maybe he's just saying, you know what? It's fine. They'll mostly be fine. But I think the element that changes there is just blame F out in the yard, right? Yeah. 
Because yeah. before it's just been everybody going out. This time around, Blame F was over here to catch Shoxy. That makes Vitality wonder is this going to be up or lower? All of a sudden, they're denied information. And just that, that change is enough to allow Complexity to get out through that squeak door, this time without dying. Uh, which is usually a good thing, you know? You definitely want to try and, and make it past at that point. Oh, here they go. Really quickly. Smokes, flashes, Molotovs, and everything. Trying to go down. It's JKS for the vent dive. And. Well, let's see if they realize or not. Are certainly coming back to check. That's good play from, uh, yeah, I think, APHA. Yeah, Shock, sorry, who's over here. You have to go and check it. Even if you even if you feel like you're 99% sure, you're like, ah, no one could have made it down. I'm sure they didn't. But you have to assume it. Because if you don't, it'll be the, they'll certainly lose the round immediately. He set himself up in the same position that he's that he was in uh, for the second round as well. Just going to hold that ladder. So we'll see if anybody tries to rotate down those vents. I'm pretty sure that uh, Complexity know. What a shot from Config. <laughs> Sit down, Apex. It's horrifying, isn't it? Cyber was standing in the wall. <laughs> that's just his head showing. That's, I mean, it's, that's so hard to spot. What a beast. But Blamer will take down the Sutra and RPK, and Shock's doing his best to try and tap that one away, but it's not going to work out. 50 seconds now for Cyber in a one versus three, and he'll drop the bomb right there on Rush. So that gives him way more of a chance. And now he's out of the open. Why is he walking in here? He knows that the bomb is there, surely. He's so exposed here, but I guess the fact that they haven't seen him means he's suddenly at a huge advantage. They, I don't think they'll expect him to move here. To me, this seems like an absolutely mad idea, and it's working. I, I don't understand. This man knows no fear. And now, oh, well, I like this. Duo, surely. work together. Yeah, but look, they think he's over there. They, I mean, I don't even blame them. He would have to be crazy to do this, this and he's crazy. crazy. He's gonna get blame at first, and then JK is left. Oh my god, what a quad kill. And honestly, the, the relocation in the middle of it, you could tell, you could see how confused they were. That comes down to communication, perhaps. Yeah, but like, but on Vitality side, like, how do you lose track of Zywu if he got the kill on Config earlier, right? I don't, it's not, I don't think it's that they didn't see him, it's just that... Logically, for him to to do that, if they if they if they were both watching it, like if one of them peeks in the window room and one of them opens the door, it doesn't even matter if, if he gets one of the kills. The other one will definitely take him down when he's in the middle of the bomb site. So that I think that's why everyone must have been thinking that's just no way. No, I just I think at the beginning, not even. Before. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, but when he shoots Rush in the back, right? Yeah, that's from ramp. It's like he gets the first kill on config, and so that should locate Zawu for you. So for you to lose track like that, I think that's what. It's unfortunately. Um, Complexity may be getting a bit too excited about getting that bomb down. And uh, they live, they give Zywu the way in. That's wild. Yeah, he's sick, dude. I mean, <laughs> it is kind of gross. But but what a what a fantastic tool to have on your team. As in, you know, you weren't going to win that round. You shouldn't have won that round. And Zywu just changes reality a little bit. And there we go. This round, no rifles or anything for Complexity. You're going to lose it 7-5. to five. It's suddenly it's, it's much more within reach now for Vitality. They're doing a much better job here. And, um, yeah, they've, they've started to build some money even. Things are turning around a little bit. starting to look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Soxy's looking good, too. Let his hair grow back. He's got his hair back. He's got yeah, some gym equipment in the background, I noticed, as well. Yeah. He's got all those things going on. I think, or uh, an elliptical, something like that. It's amazing, isn't it? He needs to get a rack. That's what, uh, screw that cardio stuff. I couldn't agree more, Samla. Not really a cardio person. Oh! <laughs> two for one. Trying to save the environment at the same time, lowering the CO2 cost of bullets by just, you know, two for one. It's beautiful, isn't it? RPK goes down directly afterwards, though. It's still a two on three. The suits are sneaking in from behind, and he's going to be taking up Blameth right away. So, JKS. Was definitely with a chance to shine, although he might get shot at the back in about a second from now. Yeah, he's, I mean, you, there's no way. You, you, you might as well just make a choice and, and go for a kill on someone. Can't check everything all at once. So, bit of a rough uh, turn of events. Seven to six now. Slightly favoring complexity still, but I've got to say, this is starting to look like a very good first half of Vitality. Would you consider it, I mean, 8-7? If they get 8-7, do you think that's a, that's a solid performance? Yeah. I actually think six rounds is... Yeah, we, six rounds on the CT side of noon? Yeah, I think it's still pretty good. Okay. I just think the map has changed so much. It does depend on how good you are to play the T side, obviously, but uh, assuming Vitality have some grasp of it, I think you, you think it's, it's doable. Okay. I wouldn't be high-fiving or anything. I'd just say, fine, whatever, we're still in it, you know. We, we, we can do this. <laughs>
I, if they get up, if they get up to eight rounds, I'd, I'd be, especially how they started, I, I then you know, then maybe some some high fives. I don't know. Just a few. Yeah. Sharks. A lot of people coming his way. Flashbang. Are they going to be able to set it up? They have one, but they're not going to use it. And still, they get the quick trade on him. That's not bad. Isuda. Up oh, one, two. Let's see. Blame F has uh, worked his way out through the yard, so eventually he will get up here and maybe catch somebody looking the wrong way. Doesn't leave uh, JKS with a whole bunch of options. JKS is just kind of sitting tight. Do you realize? Look to the side. Look to A side. There it is. Got the right idea. Now, if only he had the bomb, it would be so <laughs> much uh, more interesting, but such a long way to go. And only 35 seconds. So by the time he gets here and, and gets to the bomb and, and takes all these fights, I mean, it's. I just think the time is what makes these kind of 2v3s so hard to do. And if not the time, then Saibu certainly will help out, uh, making it even tougher. Masuta with a nice triple. And all tied up, 7-7. Seven to seven. Money's there for complexity by this round at the very least, but... Fantastic comeback for Vitality in this first half. Mm -hmm. Done a good job. Good job. They've stabilized. It was definitely looking like complexity were just going to run away with this first half. And with the old economy, they would have. But uh, here, complexity now, 7-7. Seven to seven. And while well, at least they get a good buy going into this last round, Poison has been pretty much quiet. In, yeah, three frags from him. Five from JKS. JKS uh, getting um, comfortable, but Poison's been struggling to get that AWP in play. See if he can do better with the AK in this 15th round of the first half. Well, Vitality now, what do you got? You should be feeling pretty good, though. Two AKs, an AWP. And, well, there it is. Poison catches Apex out at the ramp, and that is a big start now for Complexity. Man advantage, as well as access to the lower site. Could potentially wrap as well. Zaiwu turns from the flash. He sees it coming, but it's not going to be good enough this time. Does speak to a certain level of confidence when you walk into that position while scoped up, ready to just take the fight against, you know, however many people. And you turn from the flash. Yeah. It's like, you know the flash is coming. Okay, right, that timing, turn away. <laughs> it's just so... It's insane how good he is. He's just internalized Counter-Strike. Yeah, it's... Yeah, out of nowhere, right? From the first time that we heard his name to, to him being this good, it's just it's so good. Nice shot from Rush. That'll certainly clear things up. And it will be an eighth round for Complexity. At the end of this round, it was really well handled. I could tell that Vitality just didn't know what was going on. That's how the first half ends. Second half is going to be coming up after the break. side it's Misuta and Saibu who are sort of leading the, the pack there so intense game right from the very start I can't wait let's let's just see more I'm glad it's a best of three got a lot of action coming your way oh yes fresh group new teams it's been three days of the same team Sanders not anymore uh, we got complexity we got vitality and we got shock C tapping away and taking poison out of this pistol round poison has really been struggling so far on this map not the poison we were expecting to see here. Are you expecting it? <laughs> the handrail not going to do anything. Sangwu takes him down. It's a nice idea from Blame If It's so unbelievably hard to spot someone there, but they just pre fired it anyway. Config trying to fall back, and with the USP not hitting anyone, but if they want to win this round, him or one of the other two players will have to start landing some crisp USP shots. Or this is not going to be working out for them at all. Trying to change it. That's a nice start. Apex actually. I was watching that. Might have had a slight heart attack there. Three on four, and the bomb is going to be going down. They do have a kit and a smoke on Rush. Hard to retake this. I think this is going to be a real uphill battle. Oh, yeah. I mean, man advantage, and you're going into them with the plant set up. This is just so... Oh, ho, ho, Rush. That is such a sick smoke. What a smoke to catch the lip of it. They're going to go behind it. They both go down. I still love it. It's to try and obscure their heads. What a brilliant idea. Config moves in, but Shox will be there for his third and final kill of the round. Vitaly take the pistol round, tie up the scoreline. Right. We can say that at least Rush won our hearts. He may not have won the round. 
But you, you pull off a cool smoke like that. It's like, yeah. I think it was Jake Harris, wasn't it? Or was it Jake Harris? I want to say Shoot, I want to. Damn, okay. Well, maybe I screwed Listen, up. Listen, someone will. Listen, look. complexity. Yes. A complexity pulled off a cool smoke. We'll, we'll, we'll ourselves. cover ourselves that way. <laughs> complexity someone. pulled off a cool smoke. I could have sworn it was rushed, but like, his Jake Harris. Kudos. Didn't work. Or it did work. I mean, you got out, but you just didn't. You still got shot in the face. Regar I mean, just, you know, regardless, it's a great idea. What a cool plan. Shocks charging in with the back 10, and there are a lot of people inside of the bomb site. On Vic. Ooh, nice headshot. Nearly a follow up. Another sh little bullet would have maybe done it there. But a quick bomb plant, some Molotovs to keep him covered. They have more Molotovs and more HE grenades. So this should never even get close to being a retake. Yep. Uh, in fact, complexity, they are already backing off, just going to hold on to the Kevlar, the pistols. Smart. I'm liking this change of pace here from Vitality, or a change of pace. I mean, this is them establishing control on their T side, but it's very quick. Yes. They're not letting complexity have too much time to think it over. Uh, or for Blame F to kind of go through his pl internal playbook of what he's uh, what he's figured out through all the demo watching, right? Through all the prep he does. Uh, instead, they're just kind of winging it out there. And um, I'm liking that. Yeah, I mean, if you do it early on on the T side, right? If you if you rush the A bomb side a couple of times like that, it means when Complexity do have grenades, you can be pretty sure they're going to start to use some of them, you know, early on. They're not going to save and wait like, oh, should we, should we Molotov the hut? They're just going to do it because sure. they've already experienced that, so... I, I think it's a it's a smart choice. It's kind of shocking. They're up one round, and Apex has three kills. It's I mean, uh, not Poison and JKS are also lacking behind in kills. So there's, there's sort of three people in the server right now that are not quite living up to uh, to standard at the moment. I'll cut Apex some slack, like more slack than pay, uh, than Poison because he plays ramp, right? Yeah. So if they come ramp, awesome. But if they don't come ramp, it could be good. And it's just. It's like playing B side dust two, retaking on A for fifteen rounds. <laughs> you know, like it sucks. It's just gonna suck sometimes, dude, and that's just the way it goes. No, you're not wrong. But poison is the one where I'm like, come on, dude. Like you could definitely start hitting some shots here. Well, we'll see. I don't know. They're now they're on the obviously they're on the uh CT side. On fig. Not gonna find that headshot. Poison's rotated over with the scout, however. Yeah, shock tank. Smartly deciding. It's not really worth it. Easy kill with the Khalil. And that'll probably open it up for them here at the bomb site. No reason not just to go. A little bit of a strange Molotov, but there's no one holding it, so yeah, they could be just fine here. Sharks goes down. I think it has no impact on the outcome of this particular round. Should just be a smooth bomb plant. And again, they have the last Molotov there being used, so it's, it's going to be so hard to get anywhere close. And I think Complexity may be just be saying, you know what? We've got a little bit of something to work with, you know, try and get some exit kills for this and, and see if you can just make it costly for them at the very least. I don't think there's any point in in rushing in there. Yeah, you can't even get AKs. No, that's annoying. Just get some kills, bonus money in the pocket. Uh, there is a Mac 10 on JKS. If he can pick up a kill, that would be pretty monster. Oh, 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 oh. take that AG. Contract though. Not going to get it. The pre-fire, just too fierce. Too much of it, he just couldn't handle it. Anders. Had to back on out. All right, uh, double digits for vitality on nuke. This is complexity's map pick as well. It's worth mentioning. So, complexity now is the time for you to shine on this CT side, get that defense established. What is it have, that you've got to show us here? Because otherwise, vitality are just gonna run away and they're looking good. Look at that, Shaxi getting into it. Getting fired up, yeah. I, they, they, you know, they were a little bit slow to start. But once they got into it, they just, you know, they just increased the tempo a little bit at a time. Uh, crank it up slowly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's worked out really, really well. Nineteenth round here, and um, they've kept the scout. Otherwise, it's all M4s. Oh, they're definitely spotting that out. But um, Apex still makes it down. And even if he gets no kills and, and never even gets in a battle, it's super annoying. So still worth it. He actually does get in a battle and loses almost immediately. And Poison doing so much damage with this scout. Oh my god. Big double kill. That's surely going to secure the round. Shark's trying to walk with the smoke. But yeah, JKS and Poison doing it all. Four shots in a row, baby. There we go for Poison. Yeah. He's woken up. And that is going to prompt a timeout. Interesting. I mean, they have the money for a buy. So Vitality will have time to go over the strategies here. But this also gives Blame F the time. To think it through. Indeed. See what kind of plan they've got. Now, if I was Apex, what would I be calling right now? That's what uh, Blame F is thinking. 
Well, yeah, I, I, it's still just so hard for me to even consider the idea that that it's Apex doing the calling because mm. he's like he that in itself is obviously like you know should be like two people's role or something, and then he's also half the time doing the entry fragging. So then he's you know. It's like he's the true veteran yeah. of uh, the French scene. Yeah. I've I will elect myself to go first, guys, and then <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, a lot on his shoulders at the moment. No, it's very cool. I like to see the progression throughout his career for um, for Dan for Apex. Absolutely. Twentieth round, Lema. I'm just gonna say, you gotta be careful. They could have actually made it to the corner and shot him in the back, so... Oh, yeah. Small assumptions there could somehow cost you a lot. But they are outside anyway, on the Vitality side. Hanging out by the container, probably just listening and sort of trying to get a peek in against someone. Not that, not that bad. Spend 10 seconds, see if you find anyone. Okay, let's see it. Execute coming in. I think they're pretending to go outside, and I think they're going to go ramp. Yeah. Yeah, but two. Uh, wait a second. Did I see things there? Were there two players in the garage? Yeah. yeah. Then they're hearing the footsteps too. Shoxy's close enough. Oh, this is bad. One of them's gonna get flanked. This is gonna get brutal here. Surely. Oh god, it's unbelievable. Shoxy hasn't found anyone. They've taken over ramp, but again, they're only down to 45 seconds. So now they also have to be a little bit mindful of the clock. And I think that yeah, they're gonna they're gonna fall back from ramp based on Shoxy's position, and he will take down Config. So he's done everything he needed to right here. That should be the opening. Where's the rest of them? I would have assumed that as soon as he got the kill, they just go. They explode right in as the, everyone is distracted, but I actually think they've left themselves very little time now. Shock's still getting the kill on Blame F. 24 seconds, a kill there, and <laughs> Rush going down anyway. 20 seconds, and yeah, JKS, one versus three here. I, I mean, it's a little bit of a miracle that Vitality actually make it through that round. Shock should have probably been dead outside, and then I don't know if they even make it in. Listen, you just don't, you can't underestimate Shoxy. Yeah, wild. Absolutely wild. All eyes on Zywu? No. Shoxy's going to get in there, too. That's sick. That's a monster round from Shoxy. That's where yeah. the thousands of hours of experience he has at a competitive level just come into play, where he's just going to manage to get right on in there and then win all of those critical fights. Well, the Config one to kick it off. Config's going to be kicking himself. That's, he's set up in that position to yes. watch where Shoxy's coming from, and Shoxy still made it look easy. And then to, to, to win against Blamef. I mean, two monster frags. Yeah, and he was, I mean, you can tell that Blamef's looking right for it, so I don't even know. This is, he sort of walks around. He's not clear, he's not pre-aiming that angle, right? Slightly off on the angle. But... Yeah, probably. But Shox definitely was, too. Not happy at the <laughs> current moment. Crush needs to get, uh, he needs to put that camera somewhere else right now. It's getting a bit hectic there. <laughs> So I was playing on one of those hotel desks by the look of it. Yeah. I was going to say it adds to the realism, doesn't it? Feels like you're so, you know, it's like a documentary. You're in combat with him. Like, oh, <laughs> what's going on? 21st round. 11 to 9. Vitality two rounds ahead. Complexity using the last, more or less, of their bank in this round. So they need a win right here. I think this is not their last chance by any means, but. But if they wanna, if they wanna avoid the really long struggle back into a game, this is the round you wanna win. Otherwise, yeah, you're, it's gonna get so much more tricky. Same, well, not quite same, but a wall that last time they used to go to ramp. This time they go outside. Keeping that kind of variability is really important. Joxy once again taking point. Dude's been hitting shots, so you might as well have him open things up for you. He's just going to keep uh, clicking heads. Config's got the angle now. Let's see. Does he lose it against Shoxi? The peak together. Manages to dodge. He survives a little while longer. Gets in position. And he's still dancing. Sets it up for JKS to rein it in. Two kills for JKS in the blink of an eye. And we could have a third one here from Poison. He's been spotted. Shoxi takes his head off. But Blamef is there. This is all over the place. Two on two now when the dust settles. Nice shooting from Shox once again. Actually saving his team for a minute there, I think. You're right. Two on two. No kit, no smoke or anything else. Shocks probably should have had that kill, but this time Blamef getting a little bit of revenge for the last round. 
Now it's on Apex, who has not been having a good game. If you get these two kills, we're just going to call it even and make up for all of it. Smart move, getting right out there. But the bomb is, I think, planted on the other side. So, yeah, he's going to have to catch him in the meantime. Otherwise, it could get weird. He doesn't know if he has a kid or not. So, it's definitely going to get tricky. And there it is. Apex with a nice triple. And all is forgiven. More evidence that if instead of tilting, you just keep your head in the game, you can have that one round that's on you. And your team definitely needed it. What a huge win for Apex. They are certainly wondering right now. I mean, BlameF is just the fragging in-game leader. It's crazy. 20 frags right now. I know, up yeah. There. Like the guy can just fight. But that was a monster run for Vitality. Just watching the reactions here from the players. Vitality looking very good. By no means, I predicted complexity for the win on this one. But by no means was it going to be easy. No, no. I mean, yeah, I did too, but... Um... Yeah, I was I was just thinking, you know, JKS in there. I'm I'm excited. Let's go for it. Let's get behind that train. But uh, like I said, oh oh dear, the timing. I can't really think of a reason why Vitality couldn't be the best team in the world. So I'm just gonna stick to that. Themselves, Anders. Yeah, still the same answer. It's fighting themselves. You're right. Well, listen. I mean, because it was the same thing back in the day, wasn't it? Well, no, but nobody necessarily beat those teams. It was kind of those teams just beating themselves. Yeah, but what is so disturbing about that era of French Counter-Strike is that if it wasn't for the fact that NIP was so much better, Fr France would have had at least one team for a while that was the best team in the world. Like, I mean, like, you know, like if, if it, it's just because they matched up, happened to match up against NIP, like that was, that was what did it basically. So. Surely it's time. There's gonna be there's gonna be a point in the future again. I'm telling you something. Uh, I'm where, where France is back on. Top. Hey, dude, very games will forever live in our hearts. But like, I'm also talking like LDLC, NV. Yeah. You know, just well, that massive uphill true. battles. That's very exciting. The big mistake there, really. I mean, I think the missed opportunity for something like LDLC and all the rest of it is that they didn't just make you know essentially vert, like reality type content around it. <laughs> yeah, this Get was before drama. you're right. They should have had yeah. people voted out of the team. They needed Cloud9 to be there with that camera guy. You know, like Cloud9 yeah. always had the camera guy following him. Exactly. Yeah, he needed to be on top of that with that. Uh... See, people would have enjoyed that way yeah. too much. This upcoming week, is Happy going to stay on the team? <laughs> Will he get voted out for baiting? <laughs> <laughs> Too, it's too too close to the reality. It hurts. Hurts too much. <laughs> no, but I, th I just thought they would have made so much money on it. <laughs> Wouldn't even matter if they won or lost that point in time. Just keep going. Vincent. But he's, uh, yeah, he's moved on to Valorant now, hasn't he? I don't know. Is, I think is he has. has. Yeah. All right. All, all the best of luck to him. Absolutely. 23rd round here, ladies and gentlemen. 13 to 9. It's not that much of a gap. It's not like Vitality have completely sealed this deal. Their money is looking pretty good, though. And um, I mean, Misuta is top fragging. Shock's right behind him. Side was up there at 7. I mean, you can see that there are just there is multiple people right now on the Vitality team that are starting to make this work. And again, you know, just pick a couple on this team. If you have Saibu and Shock's doing well, you're probably in for uh, an awful time playing against them. You add someone else to that mix, and, you know, it's yeah. not going to be fun. It gets out of hand real quick. Again, this time Zaiwu out in the yard. Does he manage to? Oh, the timing doesn't quite work out. Poison's got the angle though. Flash gonna give it up. So back into the standoff we go. 13 to 9, the score. Vitality in the lead on the T side. And this is it. If they win this round right now, Vitality, that puts them in a position to just run away with this. First map, Complexity's pick, but there it is. Poison getting the drop on Zywo. Really, really important kill. So far, they've only won one round on the second half here, Complexity. Is that true? So Vitality have come well prepared for this, this T side. I think Poison is starting to wake up, though. This is, cr this is critical. If he starts getting in there, dude, he is so good with the AWP. For sure. It can be disgusting. Choice to be made if you want to go forward or, or fall back. I don't mind that he did. And Shox is snuck past. 40 seconds on the clock. The bomb is in lobby right now. 
I'm not so worried about the time, but give it another 10 seconds and I'm going to start yelling about that because um, they, need to, they need to find a way to move here. And that's the reason why now the bomb is down 25 seconds. Now they need kills and they need to go in and recover it and get back out again. And that is not going to happen. Poison with two kills. Rush with two kills. I think two of the really important kills there. What? And um, what? 10 to 13? Sorry, I'm just shocked that uh, held on to the M4 and didn't pick up an AK. What was that about? Yeah. We got to frown on that, don't we? Who well, I mean, usually CT side, you get that AK. I mean, you have a chance of getting an AK and you don't take it. That's a... Uh, no. Decisions. Now, uh, let's see. That is a crucial round for Complexity. They absolutely needed it. They're into double digits now on the CT side. 13 to 10. Vitality still in the lead and just a monster Boom. nade. That is brutal, isn't it? And then some spray through the smoke, just to add to it. That's absolute misery. Get in there. That did, I think that did over 100 damage, just spread it across, you know, three different people. So. That is definitely very, very annoying. Now, speaking of grenades, they almost have none less on the complexity side, so. The damage is great and all, but you know, if the bomb goes down and they don't have any grenades to try and, and get in there and, and lock things down, it's gonna be weird. JKS. Oh no, <laughs> he lines it up. I can't believe he even stayed alive. He actually he just ran through. He's gonna get one more kill. <laughs> what? A hurricane of death just coming into the bomb site. Shocks now with a one versus four, and I don't know, some damage would be nice. Again, all these kills would have mattered, but they're not gonna get any of them. I can't believe Jack has survived. I, th I thought he would just get taken out, stumbling into the bomb site. Who was it? I didn't, uh, I didn't I think notice. It was Saibu, maybe, it was, that was watching, that he was fighting directly. Oh yeah, we're gonna see here. Yeah. Oh, Misuda, I think it was. Thank you, fight. Man, what a shot. What a round from JKS. The young Aussie. And that packed, uh, that round packed more punch than a kick from a kangaroo, Andrew. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, they seem terrifying to me. <laughs> Dude, yeah, screw those. They're so, they're so buff, aren't they? And they, got, like, <laughs> they got, like claws and everything. <laughs> Uh, it's still one of my favorite clips of all time. The dude who like goes and punches that kangaroo that was trying to strangle his dog. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. That. They just square up. He just <laughs> he bops him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually. I, I actually don't know if they're dangerous or not. Like as in, I think they'll mess you up, dude. Like a uh, kick, because they kick you in the midriff and it's like getting kicked by a horse or something. Yeah. Okay. Well. We'll, we'll have to get someone to verify all of this. For Any us. of the Aussies in the chat, please. Where's, where is Chad when you need him? Yeah, where's Chad when you need him? Exactly. Although Chad has been over, and I don't know, he's been in Germany so long. Does he really? Is he really still? Does he still count? Does he still count as an Aussie boy? I don't know. That's uh, yeah, that's a good question, isn't it? I don't know if he's fought a kangaroo either, but you know, <laughs> he comes from Perth, right? He probably fought a shark before he fought, fought a kangaroo. All right. What about a? Kangaroo versus a shark. How would that play? <laughs> Depends on the battleground, doesn't it? <laughs> in the water, probably shark. <laughs> probably shark. But then you know that kangaroo man, he can hang on. He's gonna get him in that chokehold again, and then it's all over for the shark. <laughs> nice shot. And a crossfire, and it's all done. They have brought themselves back into the game complexity. Twelve to thirteen. And now it is getting real late here on Nuke. 26th round is coming up, and I don't know who's winning anymore. I mean, the money is better for complexity at this point in time. A single round could probably change that. How much have they got left here? I mean, now it's about, you know, what kind of calls have Vitality, you know, have they saved anything? Have they got, like, a little cool little neat trick they can try? I'm seeing chuckles from the complexity side. I'm seeing very serious faces on my tower. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that, that makes me think that uh, well, not going to happen, Apex. Uh, or rather, blame F. Uh, yeah. I think now they're getting a little bit too aware of your shenanigans out there in the yard, Vitality. Yeah. So that may that may uh, that may cool things down there for complexity because those guys were given a little bit of a chuckle. You know, they're starting to feel some confidence. It looked like. But uh, now they're down a man in this key round. This was big. Poppy K going oh. down. That is uh, a little bit of an issue. Still a four on four, though. And they're sneaking down secret. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. 
Still got a minute left on the clock as well. And I don't think anyone from Vitality is actually really keeping too much of an eye on this. They have, they have almost no presence, really none at all down here. So this could be a swift and almost free bomb plant for the French side. And that would absolutely be an issue. Well, nice shot there. Apex. Start of the re-get back into it. He's going to pick up Config as well. Think about how little he was doing earlier on, but he had that one clutch, two huge kills in this round, 25 seconds left, and you got to wonder if, if Poison and Rush even want to attempt a retake. It looks like they're already setting up for something else, so... They might wow. be backing off. We had, uh, I mean, it's, it's about saving the money at this point right now. Yeah. You can still win this. By no, by no means are complexity done. But we, we've also lost config, it looks like, on the server, so... We'll see. We're probably going to get a tech timeout here coming up. Um, while we get config back in. But also, I guess, yeah, you're just trying to save that money. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that is the surefire way to lose this late in the game, right? Is if suddenly you have to eco and it's, and it's, and it's right near the end, then you're really going to be in trouble. So I could respect the fact that they definitely want to want to keep that up. There we are, 14th round on the side of Vitality. They are just two rounds away from following through. And what did you say earlier? Complexity pick this map? I think, yes. I believe. Interesting. All right, a little bit of, a little bit of a timeout here. That's a fan cam right there. Two of them. We need more. That guy's a big fan as I will. Good on him. And I can definitely respect that. Man, what's what about the complexity fan cams? Let's let's see let's see the complexity fan cams. <laughs> Gonna be listen. It's not a competition, so not... Yes, hey, dude. Maybe it is. This is all about the competition. Yeah, that's what we're all about here. Well, can we see the can we see the complexity fan cams? Are they there? Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah. I don't see. Oh, yep, yep. Lake is there. Lake is there. Excellent. Listen, clearly complexity are going to win this now. If they if they have that many fans tuning in, this is just going to be a complexity. They sending all their energy. Is that that the, yep, that's, that's all it. about? Well, well. All right. Run is back in the server. That is good news. We appreciate that. All right, good stuff. I love that man. He's got his HLTV coins there as well. Line up. MVPs, baby. Config. He's a monster. He really is, and from the looks of it, from from sort of what you get the sense of, he's, he's also managed to like calm himself down a little bit. Like I think you know, and he was he was one of those players who in some sense was like his own worst enemy. Yeah. In Denmark, right. Um, well, so. I mean, dude, berserkers are tough to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gotta find a way to. He had to stop his blood from boiling. Yeah, I think I I think that's that was my. That was my wish, really, for him joining the complexity problem, is that they could give him the the resources sort of needed to, to work on that, right? Because you don't really need to teach Config how to play better Counter-Strike. He's <laughs> very good at that, but, um, you know, there's a lot more to the game and to being a professional, so... Um, uh, I mean, I think a big shout-out to Thorin. You know, he wrote that wonderful article yeah. that Config himself acknowledged, and I, and I, and I wonder if that, uh, if that helped a bit. Right, it's I'm some outside perspective. I'm sure it did. Like sometimes you do need some 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 bad news. Like someone yeah, has to tell you. Yeah, somebody right? needs to tell you you're being a dick. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's hard to realize on your own sometimes. You're just like, oh man, I'm awesome. And then you got you got to have somebody that uh, you know out there is just like gives you a quick. You're little really messing this up. Yeah, yeah. No, are you? One two right. smack combination. Apex I think got knifed in the beginning of this round by a teammate, and the other two walked into a grenade. Don't really, don't really want to see that in the 27th round. It's so close to the finishing line, guys. Don't, don't mess this up, Vitality. You've t t really done a remarkable job in getting to this point. So mm -hmm. now would not be the time to for any kind of mistake like that. Smokers uh, re-engaged over at the squeak door. Also the last one that they had on the complexity side. They have a couple of grenades and a lot of flashbangs still left. But once again, retakes are going to be kind of tricky with this thing. So I mean, yeah, you could be gambling on not doing any retakes. But um, that would just be, a, you know, a problem for them if it got to it. 
And look at how they're waiting. They want Shox to get a bit closer config. And he's always almost going to win that fight. So hard for Shox to really see that coming. So now they're waiting for nothing, really. They, they were sort of wanted Shox to be part of that, and he can't be any longer. And they're absolutely going to get slaughtered here. Apex alone with no health, and he's going to go down. It's config and poison with a double kill each to bring complexity to 13 rounds. They couldn't quite get the op, Anders. Config has enough to drop one. Oh, no, never mind. Po poison, but I couldn't see. He actually has monster cash, so he can get that AWP as well. But that that was a very expensive round for Complexity. Oh, we see the team knife there. Oh, no. Oh, that, I hate to see it. Too much pug on the... Too much pug these so, days. Just like in traffic, it's always the rear end of that. Uh, that's at fault, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> at least in insurance, you know. Like, yeah, that's, uh, that's how you get those scammers. Yeah. I don't know if Apex was looking for insurance. <laughs> Maybe it was like, I'll run right in front of him. Looks like Apex has moved. He's in a new room. He's got a, he's got shiny, shiny white walls and shiny new furniture. Yeah, but last time, wasn't he in some sort of palace-looking yeah. place? He was, in a, he was in like a cabin or something. It was sick with like a massive fireplace behind him and everything. Yeah. Rad. That's France for you. You can have everything there. Yeah, there really are some... I, I haven't done nearly enough traveling around to some of the, the more nature-oriented parts of France. I really wish I could. Um, oh, man. If you have a chance, go to Annecy. Annecy is just unbelievably beautiful. All right. Put it on the list right now. I definitely want to do that. 28th round. It's 13 to 14. Big exchange there. And Poison, he's going to get a shot with the op, but they do just run it down. And look at this. The weaponry is working out amazingly for Vitality. Two on two in the space of, what, 15 seconds at the beginning of the round. So, Shox has made his way downstairs with the bomb, and he's going to go for a quick bomb plant. There's no one there to stop him either. And, um, yeah, uh, could be interesting. They have a smoke and a Molotov and a defuse kit here on the CT side. Blame F versus Sai Wu in a patience battle. And whoever wins this one could probably end up winning the round, but... He's <laughs> fast. Unbelievable. This is it. Shoxie needs to survive this. JKS, though. Oh, the drive-by! Shoxie. Too good. And now, oh no, Zaiwu doesn't realize Blame F is going to be here, and Shoxie is very low. Not a whole lot of fight in him, but he hits the shot! Shoxie, man, once again! Shoxie comes through for Vitality. And he was out in the open. He was low on health. If he misses that... He's dead so quickly. Blame F, pretty quick to uh, to try and do that. Didn't really spend much time. I wonder if the smoke was, you know, threw him off. He was like, wow, I, I bet he's hiding in it or something like this. I, when I think, what I think Zai was thinking is just like, well, hold on, who's alive? Blame F, he's always yard. Yeah. So he's probably just watching main, just thinking, this is probably where he's going to show up. But I'm wondering, um, that was such an unfortunate turn of events for the man holding Squeak Door. Uh, yeah. At the beginning, they're just getting run over point blank by Tech Nines. That's no fun. Super difficult. But that was a key round that Vitality needed. I keep saying key rounds. All of these rounds are key. I mean, Three. that one it was a fast round. We'll put it that way. You know, to just say, okay, uh, 28th round, yeah, just rush. I mean, it comes okay. it comes off the back of, of them, you know, only winning two out of the last six rounds. So, so you know, that was one of them right there. So they've slowed down in their win rate from earlier here on the T side. And it's right at the end, so... I mean, if Complexity can win this round, decent chance we go to overtime, which would be really interesting. Let's see if the French can find a way to do it here towards the end, 29th round. They've got two rounds they have to win Complexity, or they're going to be losing their own map pick, which could be recovered, but definitely can be uh, annoying, if nothing else. Oh, once again, Shoxy. Applying pressure in the lower halls here, and he's ready this time. Oh, man, Shoxi's so good right now. He's got that confidence. He's just lethal. Uh, Blame up and Poison chiming in. Poison even picks up Apex. Thought he was dead there, but he takes Apex with him. Man advantage now for Complexity. That is so well done from uh, from Poison. Well played. That's the second time now where Poison gets that second kill. Yeah. Where it doesn't look like it's supposed to happen, and he just squeaks it. Oh, look at the timing for Blame F. They've got no idea. He's going to take one and spray and take the second as well. A nice triple kill here for the captain. And it's 14-15. We're going to the 30th round. It will go the entire distance. What a fantastic way to start the day here. Man, look at the money as well, though. It's off. Yeah, it's not good. It's tatters for Vitality. That was a must-win round. I think surely all the time. Surely they're not going to have another Tech Nine rush that works. Yeah, poison though, dude. All right, he's woken up yeah. really quiet in the first half. He's now sitting at 19 frags. Yeah. 
he and really he, came into his own on this easy side. He's so good, isn't he? He's so fast. That's the thing. He's one of the fastest offers. It's wild. Really cool to see. Also, I think probably one of the ones whose name gets left out of, you know, sort of like top opening conversations. I, I think not, not based on merit. I just think based on, I don't know, just people just forget about it for some reason. Sure. Or maybe I should just speak only for myself. I sometimes forget about it. Yeah. RPK trying to jump up on the ledge. I don't know if that's legal or not, but you can slide all the way to those center lamps that, that are above the door, the blue, the blue arch door, mm. whatever it is. Some weird glitch in the game. We're gonna get. Uh, wait. Oh, why am I blanking on the name? What was that called again? Never mind. That's all the sin. <laughs> the series that you were doing with the oh, wings. Theory craft. Yeah. yeah, theory craft. There it is. I already put it in a video. There's so much in those videos that people just have never seen. I don't know why. Like it's just. It's, yeah, I, I'm gonna make more one day. One day I'll revive it and go back. To it. Yeah, the room on fire YouTube is still there, guys. You can go watch those. Uh, yeah, it's not there. Ooh, shot and a follow up with the scout. <laughs> it's not the old ball, but he, he's so mobile with it. Even tanking up shocks. And now, this is where complexity, you know, this way you want the leadership in the team to really calm this down. You should not be throwing this away. It's 25 seconds, it's three on three. You have all of the advantage. The only way you lose this is if you start, you know, taking unnecessary fights. That one, not really unnecessarily, probably should have just had that one. Yeah. Blame F going down now. Shock's coming up on the one side, and Saibu goes down. 10 seconds, and they have got the bomb. Can they make it to the side? Apex is down there. Yeah, he's planting the bomb right now in the last couple of seconds. And now, again, it should not really be possible. But, I mean, that deagle on Apex, let's find out. They just need to go together. <clears throat> they absolutely must go together. Because then you can trade. Given the situation, I mean, they need to be moving quicker than this. You know, tap the bomb, get a reaction, but watch each other's back so you can trade kills. If you start splitting up, I think JKS is... They don't uh, know where it is. They think it's upstairs. What's going on? Did they really? They've started running back and they must have thought that. I'm so confused. Oh, no. 16 to 14. We are going to need an interview at some point. I, I think my brain just exploded. I have no idea what just happened. I'm so happy we're going to go for a break because I'm going to need some time to breathe here. We'll be back with the desk after the break. Stay tuned, guys.